Welcome back, Greyhounds. I am Isaiah Hart. I am a senior and member of the men's basketball team. And I'm Grace Baltimore. I'm also a senior and a member of the Evergreen Orientation staff. We need student commitment and participation to make campus reopening a success. So today, we're sharing the things you can do to help ensure a great spring semester. Let's start with our first area of focus, healthy campus. The number one thing you can do this semester is wear your mask at all times. Health experts continue to say the most effective way to prevent the spread of COVID-19 is by wearing face coverings when interacting with others. For this reason, Loyola has created a mask mandate for all community members. Everyone must wear a face covering unless you are in your own residence hall room. Face coverings are required in all shared spaces, indoors and out. This means you must wear a mask while visiting friends' rooms in any Loyola building, on the shuttle, on the quad, and any time you leave campus. Baltimore City has a mask mandate in place that must be followed by all Loyola community members. The second thing we must commit to is social distancing. By now, we know that we need to stay at least six feet from other people. Keeping this physical distance between you and others is one of the best tools we have to avoid contracting and spreading the virus. The third thing we can commit to is hand washing and disinfecting surfaces. It should go without saying at this point, but washing your hands is a really effective way to limit germ spread on campus. Use soap and water to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water aren't available, try hand sanitizer. And use sanitizing wipes frequently. You should clean and disinfect anything you touch. Desks, phones, your swipe card, earbuds, pens, your water bottle. Get in the habit of cleaning these things daily. Now, let's talk about maintaining healthy learning spaces, campus facilities, and living spaces. If you're living on campus, there are some specific things to keep in mind. As always, we are responsible for cleaning our rooms and common areas, so you'll want to bring plenty of cleaning supplies with you when you return to campus. Talk to your roommates and make a plan. A few other reminders about your residence hall. We cannot have any guests from other buildings or off campus, and only two student guests from the same building are allowed in our rooms. Masks must be worn by any guests and by any residents at all times during visits. What classrooms will look like? We are all interested in how classes will work this semester. Some classes will be online, others will meet in person once a week. When you go to an in-person class, the classroom will be set up with a six-foot radius around each seat to allow for physical distancing. Everyone, including your professor, will have to wear a face covering at all times. Eating is not permitted, but you are allowed to drink water during class. Do not worry. There will be sanitizing wipes available in each classroom to wipe down your areas. Facilities staff will clean and sanitize classrooms twice daily when classrooms are vacant. Maintaining a healthy campus community. All students will participate in daily self-monitoring for COVID-19 symptoms or exposure during the Campus Clear app. It only takes a few seconds each day and will help ensure that we can keep COVID-19 from spreading. If you are feeling well with no symptoms, known contacts, exposures, or positive test results, you will be cleared for campus entry and be issued a green pass through your app. We can be asked to show this green pass to gain entry to any campus location, including the student center, fac, and library, and to attend in-person classes. If you report any symptoms or exposure to COVID-19, you will not be permitted entry to campus or classes. You will receive more information on next steps, including how to contact a healthcare provider, Using Campus Clear is the fastest way to get the process started, so click through and someone will reach out to you ASAP. Updated information about testing, isolation, and quarantining is available at www.loyola.edu slash coronavirus. We've developed the Healthy Hounds campaign to help keep all of us informed and committed to keeping our campus safe. We all want to enjoy our time on campus this spring, and each of us must do our part to make it happen. Show your commitment. Follow the rules and help enforce safety measures on campus. Don't be afraid to remind others to follow the rules too. We are looking out for our whole community and should hold one another accountable. Sign the Healthy Hounds Pledge, which can be found at www.loyola.edu slash healthyhounds. And finally, spread the word about your commitment to and the importance of hashtag Loyola Healthy Hounds. We cannot wait to see everyone back on campus. Keep an eye on your Loyola email, Loyola Today, and the reopening website for all the latest news and information. Until then, stay healthy, Hounds.